Okay, well that's 10 minutes and so um, thank you very much everybody and we'll now move on with the agenda. Moving now to agenda item number three, minutes from Taupo District Council uh, meetings of the 13th of May and the 28th of May. Firstly, could I ask for any amendments or alterations uh, to the 13th, where do they finish? They finish page 23. Are there any amendments or alterations to those minutes? Okay. Um, I'll, so I'll ask again uh, for the second lot of minutes as well. We're doing two lots of minutes here. Okay. Oh, sorry, Councillor Hickling. Um, you're dealing with page uh, 3, bar 23, Your Worship. Yes, sir. Um, it's a point of... Uh, conflict of interest, I'm pretty positive that probably during the discussions I did declare a conflict of interest regarding the uh, golf club. You did? I, yeah, did during, I may have missed it during passing that full resolution uh, and I wondered if the council would oblige me with uh, where it says note number one. Councillor Hicklin declared a conflict of interest relating to the Sports Advisory Council, which I did, but could we add the Tapo Golf Club in that particular clause, please? I, I, I can support that. I did hear you say it. Um, so could we amend the minutes if all other councillors are happy, please? Thank you. Any further amendments to both sets of um, council minutes, please, which takes you right through to agenda item number four? If there are none, I will ask for a mover and a seconder to receive the minutes, please. Move, Councillor Hickling, second <coughs> Councillor Williams. And then I will ask you if there are any matters arising from both sets. Start with the first set first, please. Matters arising, Councillor Kirk. Uh, I just um, noted there was going to be a workshop on the priority list of the district playgrounds to be put forth. I just wondered if that's kind of been you are. It is work in progress. <laughs> it was a month ago. <laughs> okay. Anything further? Okay. The second set of minutes. Any matters arising from those minutes, please? Yeah, be Councillor Williams. Oh yes. Um, with regards to item number sixteen, three bar thirty, has there been any? Um, developments from that, um, from those mediations. I believe I've, there has been some talk and meetings, has there? Who can answer this? Mr. Goldsbury? I see you hiding there. Councillor Williams has asked, uh, page 3 bar 30, proposed environment court practice direction slash mediations. Can you report anything, please? There only only that the submission went in and we haven't heard anything back. Okay, nothing to report at this stage. Anything further? There being none, we will move to agenda item number four. This is uh, re receiving the minutes of Tapa District Council and Ra Rakawa uh, about to be formed joint committee. Or oh, it is formed, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Um, so deal with that one first. Any amendments or alterations to that? Councillor Truman. Um, on four bar three, just under general discussion, it says um, K Truman requested changes to the references to South Wales Dis District Council and incorporation of wording regarding the river. The wording regarding the river was in the title because it was just called uh, JMA, but it my thing was a JMA on what? It could have been, you know, if there were up in the future, if there were other JMAs. So it was particularly in the title, so we knew that that one was a bad thing. Yeah, and Your Worship, um, I think that uh, was quite favourably received uh, by the committee. Um, I think, Gareth, that's probably right, isn't it? Anything we need to do? Or? Well, it was to do with the title of the. Yeah. Uh, we of the JMR, we can't do anything about that. Can we? We can um, note the change and go back to the um, back to the committee and note that change. Okay, fine. Nothing 
Nothing further from those. We move now to the Turangi Tongariro Community Board meeting of the. Oh, I'll, I'll move, Your Worship. Uh, would you be moving <coughs> and receiving both sets of minutes? <coughs> Just for Rakawa. Yeah, but they've put them together on my agenda. We've got two, item number four. So, um, Councillor Truman, you second Rakawa minutes. And a mover, please, for Turangi Community Board and seconder for Turangi Community Board minutes, please. Let's also move the uh, Turangi to, um, Tongarau Community Board minutes dated Tuesday 11th of June. And also the uh, resolutions mentioned in there, 5099, 5102, 5103 and 5104. And I'd like to speak to the resolution 5100. We have a seconder. We don't have to be at a meeting to second uh, minutes, so I will second the minutes. Uh, sorry? Oh, did you have your hand up? Okay, Councillor Johnson, make him a second. Oh, I didn't see your hand, sorry. Um, so you can now speak. Thank you, uh, Chairman Rick. I just want to um, reinforce what some of the speakers from Tūrangi this morning have said. Um, I want to set out that um, a number of things have occurred in terms of the um, operating hours. I think if you take, for example, the operating hours uh, as they were and then the uh, second lot of operating hours and, and the final trial operating hours which have been removed, reverted to the original. Um, I'm, I'm merely asking that Council consider uh, section 78 of the Local Government Act, which says it should uh, take notice of those affected people, uh, give consideration to their views and preferences, likely to be affected by them or to have an interest in the matter. The other uh, points about the pool's performance, um, the pool's performance in terms of when it was designed on a, uh, a rate Pay a funded basis of 95% and 5% um, income or admissions is actually running at about 12.85% admissions, um, which is an improvement. So what I'm saying is increasing the hours to back to what the trial hours were would help in getting more usage of the pools. Uh, what are the benefits um, to the users? Uh, there, there are the social um, economic benefits as opposed to the fiscal economic benefits are great in terms of uh, those that are, uh, are using the pools for um, for health benefits are saving the government, central government, albeit uh, local government, in terms of uh, ongoing medical costs later on. Um, I do understand, of course, the central government has removed the well-beings for which this was uh, would have otherwise come under. Uh, the other means of increasing the income are we could simply uh, issue a targeted rate if that's required. We could um, increase the admission fees slightly. Um, not to allow the increase in the hours as, as was trialled will um, we'll just simply run back to um, increasing the costs of running the pool because we won't have the same percentage uh, as we have now and cause staffing problems because split shifting when it comes to staffing would cause um, problems in attracting staff and keeping staff. I just want to point out um, finally that um, Council when adopting the annual plan in item number 13 Council can adopt the uh, the annual plan with any amendments. Council can adopt the funding impacts uh, statement with any amendments. I'm imploring Council to reconsider reinstating the hours to the um, uh, to the swimming pool or GTAC as is commonly known to the trialed longer hours of opening. I feel um, here today that there is perhaps an appetite to revisit and relook at it. Uh, I would ask my fellow councillors with their agreement that 
Um, we moved this to a workshop because there is councillors in here that uh, want to hear both sides of the story from, from staff, from people like we've heard today. Uh, I think we need to, uh, my, my opinion is, we need to move this to a workshop and readdress it at that stage. Uh, Councillor Henderson. Just with regard to the process with which council should consider these matters, and for clarity, I just point out that we have, have as a council not yet received the information back from staff that when we made the original decision during annual plan deliberations, we asked the staff to go back and rejig the hours within the existing budget. So we're still yet to receive that information. So just for clarity, I want people to know that. And bearing that in mind, which Councillor Henderson has said, the re resolved 5100 Touring Tongariro Community Board that council be requested to reconsider its decision in relation da, 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 da. You are requesting us to reconsider. My olive branch to you is backed up with the point Councillor Henderson has said here where more information from our staff, please, uh, that we move that issue to a workshop and that workshop should be ASAP. And if I have your, my fellow councillors support with that, that's my proposal. And hopefully um, as chair of the Tongriro during a community board, and I know your passion, uh, Councillor Kepper, uh, you could um, come along in that walk with us. I think, fellow councillors, you're happy to move to move this issue to a workshop. Yeah, yeah. Councillor Kepper. I I am happy with that. Although, I, as I, I just pointed out in my uh, submission, that. Um, that, uh, or in my statement, that council can actually do it now. They can, but I have councillors that have discussed this with me that want some more information from staff about the impact. So if you could, uh, the impacts of it, if you could bear with us, and I'm hoping it wouldn't be any longer than, than a week or something, we could have this workshop. Is that possible, staff? And just a bit of clarity, is the pool open or closed at the moment? In these hours. It's open, and um, and I would propose that we keep it status quo until um, post the workshop and any just decision. my thunder. Sorry. <laughs> <coughs> so, um, is that okay? Well, I'm, I'm merely arguing um, not about the cost of running GTAC. I'm arguing about the social economics of it, that is, that it needs to have these increased hours and based on other uh, facilities run by council, such as the museum, which only brings in 3.52%, the district library is at 5.62%. I mean... But Councillor Kepper, you are the chair of a board that formulated a resolution that says the council be requested to reconsider. We've just agreed to reconsider via a workshop where we can get right down to the nitty gritty of it. And... Staff have just agreed to leave the status quo until we've had that workshop. I'm merely saying that the board has already been presented with those I went, figures. I went for a vote with it. The workshop would win the vote, so should we move I'm, on? I'm, I'm not saying <laughs> that the, the workshop's going to win. That's, that's for sure. I'm merely saying that, that the board has been presented with the figures previously. The board has, yes. The council hasn't. Yeah, and the board's made a recommendation to this council, which Councillor Henderson um, going to, supported not, at uh, board to, level, but didn't support at council I'm not level. I'm going to allow that here, uh, Councillor Kepper, so withdraw that, please. Take that, there's not in the minutes. So we are going to move this item to a workshop, and I'll ask the staff once again, can we have some sort of guarantee that it will be in the very near future, not the distant future, and the pool staying open until then? Yes. Thank you. Moving on now, any more matters arising from the Turingi Community Board? Um, minutes, please. There being none, we will move now to agenda item number five.